Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, your resident melee enjoyer, and I have been enjoying some melee. We got ourselves the brand new Glacial Hammer, well, I think from last league, uh, and the Scuffed Sanctum Staff that lets you only crit half the time, which is a pretty weird thing to build around, but with the new Glacial Hammer that crits guaranteed on every third strike, it means we can bypass that limitation and then have a pretty cooked build which deals zero damage, two out of three hits, and then all of the damage on the third hit. Uh, there are a few ways to build this in the way I was looking at it um, and conceived of it, and I did decide to go for the all or nothing route. So if you don't crit with this stuff, you don't do any damage and then your crit is capped at 50, but we can bypass that by guaranteed critting. So you could still build your way up to 50% crit, so then your first two hits have a chance to crit, um, and then you just still guarantee crit on that third one, which would be okay. I instead just went complete nothing on crit chance so that I would focus all of my efforts on crit multi, damage, attack speed, uh, and scale that way. So by level 50, I think it was, I had 900 crit multi, and from then on, it was going pretty goddamn good. Glacial Hammer feels real nice with a staff and being a berserker, you can get quite a lot of um, attack speed and even some range. As you can see, we are actually attacking from pretty far away, and uh, I decided to build into Tri Heralds as well, if you may have noticed. Uh, this here is an example of no MTX on the Heralds whatsoever, so this is what just vanilla gameplay would look like, but I've also just throughout the gameplay been mixing it up and doing a good few uh, different Heralds as well, because every kind of different combo of Heralds almost changes the way the game is played, or at least how it feels like it's being played. So this is just the default one, but then we go over some other ones as well. Uh, and they, yeah, feel pretty crazy. So the freeze on Glacial Hammer is real nice. Um, and also, I suppose it's a good time to mention there is one problem with this sort of gameplay if you don't have the best PC. Uh, when you do no damage, you just splash the enemies with your Glacial Hammer splash stuff and it kind of fucking lags you uh, especially on the really big packs because if you deal absolutely zero damage you just yeah get like um nothing nothing takes damage nothing dies nothing like freezes and all of a sudden you are just creating a huge freaking lag fest for no reason but if you attack fast enough you can get through that quick enough that you're on to the third hit and uh, essentially it doesn't really by this point of the character ever feel like you're doing zero damage because your third hits come and go so quickly uh, so that's kind of the basis of the character I was trying to stack attack speed trying to make sure I would go as fast as possible so that I would skip through those first two non-hitting hits and then get to the third big payload hit ASAP. This is with Despair Herald of Ice. Um, that's the one that's doing all those laser beams and then also like Sun Prism Herald of Ash, I think. Uh, so yeah, it can get pretty crazy. But it's been very fun. It's um, Once you get all the rage and blitz up from Berserker, once you stack a bit of attack speed, you can leap around pretty quick. Even though this is a 1.3 second weapon, it has no base attack speed on it. Uh, you get pretty fucking fast, and it becomes a very fast, snappy playstyle. And I think at this point, it's probably the fastest thing I've done this league for clear, and um, pretty solid for bossing at this point as well. Um, so it should be freezing most bosses, it should be somewhat utilizing the heat shiver we have on, and uh, I've also, for the first time, incorporated the new rings that give extra herald buffs, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but that's why I'm doing Tri Herald, because Glacier Hammer fully converts 100% of your fizz to cold, so that bypasses the staff's dog shittery, which has like random conversion and also chaos conversion. So we are fully cold, and then basing off of that cold, we're also getting some extra Herald of Ice buff. Uh, we're getting Herald of Ash as fire stuff, so that hopefully uh, um, damage is a bit more split. And I was going to try and incorporate Trinity, but I don't think that's possible. Um, and then also Herald of Purity buffs this up as well. And that has allowed me to do some cluster shenanigans, which once again, I'll show you in just a second. But you can see it results in a pretty fast, snappy playstyle, one that does not feel bad for being melee or anything like that. Um, and it's pretty goddamn fun and satisfying. Um, the other thing is, 
it can be somewhat tanky if you want it to be this is a berserker that doesn't take the 10 percent increased damage taken node and um up to this point i think i've yet to die at like level 91 or so so still hc viable which is kind of funny um and it doesn't seem like it's going to be a bad playstyle at all for the end game um, but you can build it tankier if you really want to. I have also used the new Fortify gloves, so you should notice I have 36 Fortify, which is quite a lot. Uh, that is for helping my attack speed, but also helping my incoming damage taken. Um, and then, yeah, a few Endurance Charges. You can steal some Jug nodes if you want. You can steal some Chieftain nodes if you want. I haven't stolen anything yet, um, but it's entirely possible that we do and uh, enhance the character in some way like that. So it's nothing too hard to build because most of this is just like pure unique items. Um, and um, the new, well not new, but it's the Scuffed Sanctum Staff, which almost no one has ever used for actual attacking that I'm aware of anyway, because it is hard to build around its um, downsides. And it's already been price fixed, of course, because there's only a few of them on the market because you have to use a certain relic to um, trigger it and then it'll drop. Uh, so yeah, most people aren't actually going to use that relic and give a shit. So yeah, it's it's hard to get the staff at this point, but it was like a divine when I first bought it. And um, you can do this as just a regular Glacial Hammer build. You can do this as just a staff Glacial Hammer as well with a regular staff, given that you can print a staff that has about as much damage as this one from the League Mechanic um, that has no downside of the... Um, you know, no damage deal crit thing. So Glacial Hammer I think is pretty spicy, pretty hot. Berserker of course makes any melee work and uh, the result is this thus far. I'm very happy with it and still happy to see where it goes. So let me go ahead and show you how the character looks so far. So here we are, currently level 90 Flail Shield Hammer. Uh, flail being the emote of the Kermit flailing because that's what this was going to end up being with maximum attack speed. Just a big old flail fest. Um, and it does kind of get there where it's something like, I don't know, 20 five attacks a second maybe um with buffs up and uh for a base weapon that has no attack speed uh that's pretty damn good so this is the weapon to um start with it has huge amounts of fizz so it's a pretty easy thing to like scale around instead of having to you know search for flat fizz or stacking decks or some shit like that whatever um it's just it starts out with a lot of damage it has a, some you know decent crit multi as well it has this bullshit convert it has that max 50 crit and the non-crit deals no damage so it's a bit weird to build around like i said with glacial hammer though um that takes care of a lot of that 100 percent of fizz converted to cold skill gem conversion takes precedence uh and then every third successive strike is a critical strike so you do have to basically connect three with um your skill or like you know attack three times and then the third hit is going to be a crit so it actually synergizes really well with multi-strike I'm pretty sure that's how it works from my testing anyway, um, that the third hit is going to then deal um, that 44% more. And the third final repeat of multi-strike is always the one that connects um, if you start attacking from scratch. Um, always the one that connects and gives you that 44% more damage and that crit. Um, so it does not work with Ruthless because Ruthless, um, I, you know, it in theory might still do but from what i can tell ruthless is every third time you use a supported attack so if we use both multi-strike and ruthless what you have in the end is every third time you attack so one two and then three this one is potentially supported by ruthless which um, means that it's not really any better than any other support gem because two of our hits uh, first attacks do you know nothing extra it's only that third attack that might then do more um yeah or i suppose you could not do multi-strike and just have a you know every third blow being a crit and do that but multi-strike's pretty good for feeling good with these types of skills so that's what we got there glacial hammer we're building around that does a bit of extra cold um will always crit so we have basically no crit otherwise um as you can see nine percent crit on my um main hand attack nine percent 766 multi because i did take out the crit multi gem but when i was using that I had 912 hitting a thousand is honestly kind of trivial but 
like there's no point there's huge diminishing returns on your crit beyond a certain point because you know if you have 900 crit why get another 100 crit multi when you could be doing better scaling instead so what this does also allow us is the use of Marilene's fallacy because since we always crit on that third hit and that's all we care about we can get 300 crit multi from our amulet thusly we are using that from level 40 onwards um i'm using an Atula's because several gear choices have already led me to zero life so this has no life this is going to have no life um, i wanted to use the new gloves for extra like damage reduction and attack speed as well so 36 attack speed there plus 10 fortify um, and then we also get a good source of fortify um, on hit so that, those have no life as well. I figured I'd be doing Heat Shiver in this build and trying to do Trinity at this stage. I'm not sure the Trinity is ever going to work, but it's possibly still worth getting all that extra cold as fire. So I might keep it. I might change it up. We'll see how we go. But for now, Heat Shiver, like the worst possible role. You can get better ones with corruptions and stuff. Uh, I'll end up picking up a different one anyway if I do keep it. Uh, and then the new rings that you can get. So synthesized prismatic rings. They have three rolls instead of the usual two. And uh, it can roll from all different um, walks of life for your heralds. So try and find a combo of three that are pretty good. So we got buff effect, cold damage, we got you know fire damage, which isn't that good. Fizz damage is good, um, reduced reservations. So I picked up like one of them for 10C, one of them for like 60C or something. You just have to find the right one that works for you. They're actually a pretty cool little thing if you utilize enough heralds in your build, which um, I'm trying to do. So the heralds that I'm also scaling off of are um, Empowered Envoy, so buff effect there, and Purposeful Harbinger. So since I have three Heralds, um, I get 24 um, effect of my auras from this node. And I might be doing it on another one as well. So I can at least cap that 40 effect. Because the auras I'm using, nothing too major, but Hatred, which is pretty good. And then Precision, which is covering my accuracy for the most part so it's on my life and it's doing pretty much all of my accuracy we then just have a belt that has some res and stuff um a jewel with some accuracy and then boots that uh give me res movement speed avoid chill i uh, just bought these for like 60c or something and uh yeah craft something on there that easy uh, and that's the entire gear. It's not super complex it's just um something you gotta go out, out of your way to get but um <clears throat> It's all pretty doable. Like I said, the staff, there was maybe like 10 of them on the market when I started. There were like, you know, one or two divines, um, but then they got bought out and flipped. And yeah, it's an unfortunate situation, but this thing is not really the build enabler for this type of a build. It's just something I, you know, could easily use and also meme around with. Um, if you're going to do a regular staff crit build instead, obviously the first two hits are going to do damage. Uh, so build around regular crit still just build crit uh, you know staff nodes and freaking crit nodes and crit nodes and you'll easily get to like 50 to 80 crit not too difficult um but then you won't have quite as much multi as this build because um Marilyn's fallacy is not something you should use um but yeah glacial hammer i think should be pretty damn cool in many different ways and um in theory if i've got like you know 900 or let's say 800 multi and only every third hit counts a build with like three or 400 multi but all three hits count as long as you're critting pretty reliably is going to be better than this right this is kind of a pile of memes that still work and are a bit fun and uh here we are so glacier hammer attached to ancestral call that's why we can attack further away uh with the quality on it multi-strike inspiration at the moment i'm still using faster attacks just because i want maximum speech but it's a bad support gem so we'll get rid of that soon uh, and then ellie pen because i otherwise have very little sources of ellie penetration uh, i am using elemental weakness just as a self curse because marks aren't even good for me given that i have so much crit multi and i don't need the crit chance assassin mark doesn't do anything uh, i will have a double totem setup eventually so far i haven't done that because not necessary i'll probably have berserk on demand at some point too i got enduring cry call to arms Duration, life tap, and Ellie weakness over here so that you know we can cast all that stuff and that helps us with our regen and whatever. Um, Herald of Purity, Herald of Ice, Flood Rage, Frost Blink, uh, Arrogance attached to Precision, Herald of Ash, and Hatred, and the Passive Tree has gone through some revisions. I re initially went over here so for more weapon range and also had that range over here. In the end game, you want monsters cannot block, so that's pretty good. 
um, try crit multi jewels here or there, though it's not too necessary given that we've already got so much uh, multi life and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty good too. Attack speed still not bad. Um, just a regular one of these that gives us some leech, some accuracy, and some mana leech. Uh, and then I did a Brutal Restraint to help fix Dexterity, while also getting some Aura effect for my silly little two Aura setup. Um, and then I crafted a Cold Attack Speed Buff Jewel. So if you get an eye level 84 one of these, and then spam either Attack or Caster rerolls on Harvest um, over here. Attack or Caster rerolls, it's always going to land um, the Attack and Cast Speed Cold Skills thing. And then you're just fishing for 35 effect and something else good on it and this is the one i've settled for and the one i'm using so each one of these nodes is 21 cold damage and then four attack speed and uh yeah just trying to fill it out and then we'll see what i do with these um maybe a watcher's eye or something i do have glancing blow block um and capped glancing with roomies up as well as taste of hate helping out so with all this stuff i've got a little bit of armor nothing crazy i'm um, still not even capped on res because yeah i gotta flip some stuff um but it's fine and uh like i said so far Pretty clean, zero deaths while doing some juice content. I mean, freezing stuff is very powerful. And then I do have some good sustain and uh, damage reduction with the setup I've currently got. So that's the build. That's the memes. It's been pretty goddamn fun. Glacial Hammer, get the fuck around it. Or just melee in general. Don't let the haters tell you. Otherwise, melee skills are some of the most fun things you can do in the game. For map clearing at the very least. Uber bossing. And I have yet to do tier 17 -ing. We'll see how that is. Those are another story. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.